All right, flows, let's give the enemy chills. What can we unleash once we get our kills? I am overflow, and let's get on to the video. What's up, guys? It's overflow, and today we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 and its point kill, whatever, point streaks. There's three different versions, there's a million different kill streaks, but before we start talking about that, this is a firing range gameplay using the PSG-1 most of the time, and not the best score in the world, I end with 10 deaths, which is not something that I like to show you guys, I definitely prefer to keep the deaths minimal, but as I am running around a lot, I hope that you guys can still appreciate the video, and for the first couple seconds here, or first next 45 seconds or something like that, I'd like to address the fact that I do pick up red guns once in a while, and uh... By once in a while, if that's once in a while of a video or whatever it is. Most of the time, I do use the sniper rifles, and I just want to address this really quickly to um, let you guys know my feelings on it. 90% of the gameplay you see from me is using a sniper rifle. And uh, since Black Ops is coming to an end here, I would like to get the most out of it and get my fill of Black Ops and all its guns. So once in a while, if I do pick up a red gun, I hope that you guys can understand and, uh, and appreciate the fact that I'm just a player too. I want to use regular regular guns once in a while and all that. And considering the fact that I do have over 30,000 kills with the sniper rifles already, it's nice to pick up another gun once in a while and get a few easy kills with it in my opinion. And um, that's it's fun to me and I want to get the most out of Black Ops before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. So I hope that you guys can seriously um, just really appreciate the fact that most of the gameplay you will see from me is sniper rifle based and that is my primary thing and also I hope that you guys understand that since theater mode is not recording the ground war gameplays that is where I do most of my sniping and that that's not where I do most of my sniping everywhere but that's where I pretty much don't pick up any other weapons in ground war and because it's not recording in theater mode it's harder for me to get gameplays look at this oh almost a quad that would have been awesome but it wasn't almost a quad for the dogs ah it would have been so cool but I would like to say that I hope that you guys still appreciate the gameplays and you appreciate the commentating and all of that. And since Ground War is not saving the gameplays, it's very hard for me to get a Ground War gameplay due to the fact that I record on a different TV than the one I play on. So it is tough for me. But I hope that you guys will continue to appreciate, love, and support me um, because you guys are awesome and you really make my day every time I see a positive comment or every time I get another like on my video, another thumbs up. It really, honestly, it, it makes my day. Every time I see another person subscribe to me, every time I get a message from one of you guys, I absolutely love it. And, um, let's get on with this here. But before we start up the talk about the Modern Warfare 3, I would like to address a few YouTubers. There are a bunch of other people that definitely try very hard and... They put a lot of work into their videos, and they um, are t attempting to make their way in this YouTube world. And I just want to lend a helping hand because I think that these few people deserve it. I like to give at least one shout-out every video, and uh, at least one. I don't get to as much as I'd like to, but we're going to say it right here. Um, please, put your, please focus your attention to the corners of the video as I talk about these few people. I'd like to give a shout-out first to Skate Jake. He is basically a new commentator he's young but he's got a lot of potential and i do like his videos um let's check him out let you uh let him know what you think and uh let him know i sent you let him know hey overflow talked about you just that'd be really awesome you guys also i'd like to give a shout out to one of my good friends one of my first youtube buddies jolts dude 139 he makes all the videos that you could possibly imagine for tomahawk and ballistic knife spots it's absolutely fantastic you guys have got to check him out and he's hilarious, and I don't think he knows that. My buddy Nubicle, he is somebody I actually just met, but he does put a lot of work into his videos. Funny guy, funny commentator. Check him out. And if you're interested in any type of montages, uh, sniper clips, funny stuff, cool stuff like that, you got to check out my new buddy Abrax or Abraxi or Abrache. I don't know, but check him out if you're interested in little two-minute videos, montages, stuff of that nature. Definitely give him a peep. Alright guys, let's get on to talking about the kill streaks and Modern Warfare 3. Ooh, I want to tell you guys, follow me on Twitter. I don't post there 
often often but i definitely will post every time like i'm uploading a video i post most of the time so follow me on twitter i'm at overflow just like this all right guys as for the kill streaks the point streaks actually because you get points you get kills blah 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 assists all of that anyway guys there are three different packages basically kill streak packages point streak packages sorry and they are as follows the assault strike package primarily a offensive type of point streak package the support strike package it is basically a team helper supportee just like what it says and the specialist strike package which basically grants you all the perks once you get a certain number of kills which is awesome using c4 like a champion all right people white boy seventh street there you go i hope that you enjoyed those c4 kills oh yeah there's probably more i'm not entirely Woo! Anyway, guys, pay attention to the video because it is a semi-decent video and you will enjoy some of the kills. And if I notice anything while I'm talking and rambling on, I will be like, whoa, watch that. But definitely just watch it, please. You'll enjoy it. Tell me if there's any cool kills in here. Actually, leave it in the comments because I might miss it because I'm talking so much. How'd I die? That wasn't a cool kill at all. Anyway, guys, for the Assault Strike package, at three kills, you have the UAV. Four kills, you have the Care package. And I'm going to point out different um, new kill streaks or point streaks that are... that catch my eye um, at five you have the munition the intelligent munition system the IMS <laughs> oh man IMS that's kind of like INS oh man oh man oh man no but seriously guys it's basically like um, an anti-personnel explosive device kind of like the bouncing Betty it appears at um, five kill streaks again you have the predator missile and the sentry gun I'm assuming those will be about the same at six kills or points, you have the precision airstrike. At seven, you have the attack helicopter. At nine, you have the strafe run, which is just a couple of buddy helicopters that fly in and take out a specific area of the map. Or the little bird guard at nine also, which is basically a helicopter that follows you around and watches your back. It will attack. It will attack whoever is attacking your back. You don't have to act fast if it's watching you. You could just do what you do. Ooh, jumped over that man. Oh, um, there's also the Reaper, and the Reaper is basically a big plane that shoots out like 14 Predator missiles, a maximum payload of 14 missiles. It's unknown how powerful the Reaper, the Reaper's missiles are, but they're assumed to be similar to Predator missiles, which is kind of awesome. At 10, you have the Assault Drone, which is um, basically like a little tank that you can drive around. And uh, that sounds pretty cool, to be honest with you. It explodes after a minute or after it's taken enough damage. It has a machine gun on it and a one-rocket shooter thingy that reloads and all that good stuff. The AC-130, the AC the Atomic atomic Core 130 is how many seconds you have before it blows up, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. And also, at 12 kills, you have the Pavlo. At 15 kills, you do have Juggernaut, which is going to be awesome. And uh, you get a machine gun on this class. On the assault class, you do get a machine, uh, an LMG with the Juggernaut. And at 17 points, you have the Osprey Gunner. And this spot where I am right now is fantastic if you need to use it. Fantastic spot right there. Pretty cool to hide in. Check it out. And uh, at 17 kills, you got the Osprey Gunner, which is basically the Chopper Gunner. Now, guys, let's get on to the support strike. And in my opinion, I probably am going to be using the, the support just because of the fact that it doesn't reset when you die, and also, it uh, I like stuff that like helps the team, and I like stuff that um, I like to get mo most of my kills with my gun, and I like stuff that gives me like it gives me a power up, and that seems to be the case with the support strike package. Anyway, at four kills you have the UAV, five kills the counter UAV. At uh, hold on one second here, let's figure it out. Okay, at five kills you also have the ballistic vests and the airdrop trap. Airdrop trap. Basically, is an exploding care package, and uh, the ballistic vest is what I'm personally going to be using because it sounds actually pretty, pretty, pretty freaking awesome. I'm just gonna put it out there. It sounds awesome. It's uh, it's basically gives you Juggernaut for 30 seconds. Is what I'm under the impression. Juggernaut from like COD 4 and uh, World of War. It makes you a lot stronger for 30 seconds, and uh, makes you be able to absorb more damage, which is actually awesome. And basically, it drops a duffel bag and anybody on your team can pick it up it helps you for 30 seconds the only thing that I wish that they would do I'm gonna be running this by the way but I wish that instead of for 30 seconds I wish it was until like I wish you had the ballistic vest until either you get killed 
or until you get shot up and it takes away that damage from the ballistic vest and it does not regenerate. That would be cool because considering the fact I am more of a traditional sniper, that's a, that 30 seconds might be the time that I'm using to get back to my sniper base, you know what I mean? And maybe it won't be as effective for me, which will really make me sad. I really wish that it was just like, instead of a set amount of time, I wish it was for that life. Ooh, get out of the air, son. Don't be jumping in front of me. I wish that instead of for that specific amount of time, I really do wish that it was for that life or just until they take away that extra health that you have, you know what I mean? But either way, pretty cool thing going on there. Um, at 8 kills, there's the Sam turret. 10 kills, there's a recon drone. And the recon drone is a, a small helicopter UAV that can fly around the map and quote unquote tag enemy players for their teammates. Tagging will grant 100 points, but it's unknown how long the drone lasts. But it does seem to have a height limit. When it reaching it, the image on the screen will start losing definition like on a mini map when the counter UAV is active. Now, let's see how much time we... Ooh, a minute left. Alright guys, let's hurry this up. 12 kills is the advanced UAV similar to Blackbird and the remote turret, which is like a sentry gun that you control yourself, which is pretty cool. It's like a big thing. That's cool. 14 kills is a stealth bomber or 14 points. 18 points is the EMP, the juggernaut recon, and the escort airdrop. The juggernaut recon looks awesome. You basically get the juggernaut suit with a riot shield and the... That seems awesome. I'm probably going to run ballistic vests, juggernaut, and remote turret, honestly. And uh, an the other kill at 18 points is uh, the other kill streak at 18 points is the escort airdrop. It's a chopper gunner that drops packages. I think it drops four packages with one booby trapped. One is what I believe. And uh, that sounds pretty awesome too. But I will use juggernaut instead of that because I like being powered up. It makes me feel cool. It makes me feel like I'm super saiyan. Super saiyan. Oh my gosh, that's so nerdy. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, guys. Anyway. The last one is a specialist strike package, and basically at two kills you get a fourth port, a f fourth pork. At four kills you get a fifth perk. At six kills you get a sixth perk, and at eight kills you get all the perks, which sounds pretty cool. But I think that I'm going to be going with support strike package. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think of it. I love you guys, and I am overt and out.